Hey, howdy, hey, my name's Astrobex. How you guys doing? And we need to have a talk because it's been like five months and I haven't talked to you guys. What the hell? And also I want to say hi to all the new people that have subscribed to the channel lately, thanks to like covers I've done and reviews I've done of stuff and guitar things and things have been like snowballing quite lately as of late, even though I haven't done much stuff lately. So hi, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Well, obviously a lot of the new people have been coming in because of music and guitar covers I've done and things I've reviewed. And I want to basically just break something kind of heartbreaking to a couple of the probably to a few thousand people that are subscribed to me if anyone's even still watching me at this point i'm no longer doing let's plays anymore no more let's plays i'm done there's no more gaming videos on the channel there'll be no more i understand if you want to unsubscribe and go i understand if that's what you want to do because it has been months since i've uploaded anything gamer related if i have a friend who wants to you know collaborate with me on something fun like something like some bantery sort of thing i will but there are no more Let's Plays on you now because I realize my audience isn't there anymore. I've, if I was doing Let's Plays back in the day, I was getting like 10 views for each one I did. And I devote so much time to them. I would devote all my time to Let's Plays. Like, over the last three years, they've been in my head constantly. And it was such an anxiety. It was such a depressing thing to be a Let's Player for that long for no payoff. Because, I don't know, I don't have the screaming talent of Jacksepticeye and I don't have the attractive chiseled good looks of Markiplier and the booming voice and all this sort of stuff. So even though I ran full force at YouTube of all my of everything that I had, grinded my bones to dust, running on two hours of sleep while doing an, an audio engineering course and trying to have time for friends and family and my girlfriend and going places and having time to myself and running full force at YouTube, I got nothing. I had no payoff. There was nothing. I my fan base just left after a while because everyone's been doing that with Let's Plays now. It's much easier to just do that than do anything really, really creative anymore. And I didn't want to do that anymore. So I remember once, I think it was when Yes, it was when God of War came out for the PS4. And I remember reading a comment and it said this game is a joke, it's not even a game, it's kind of like a movie and a boring one. If you want to enjoy the game, just watch it on YouTube and save 60 bucks. And it was comments like that on, like, the new God of War, and it pissed me off. And I'm like, that's entirely the reason I've gone off doing Let's Plays now. Because I feel like I'm not gonna... I can't... It's hard to put into words. Because I feel like I've devoted all that time to doing Let's I did 300 Let's Plays. You know, bulk doing them. I did like th two, three, four, seven a day at one point. Because I wanted, I wanted that, I had that, I was so disillusioned to that idea of thinking like, oh, if I do this, I'll get a massive exposure boost and I'll do this and I'll be like one of the big YouTubers and I'll make a following and I can do things for charity. And none of that could transpire over three years because I'm not popular and people weren't coming for that. They came for the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff I did. They came for the stuff that was slowly trending that I just happened to like the sound of and I didn't even realize it was trending. And I did like a Friday, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's cover and it got like 120,000 views back in the day. And as soon as I did like other music and stuff that wasn't related to games, they just left. And then I was still doing stuff, you know, gaming wise. And I mean like the kind of Let's Plays where you, you know, you. Basically, you're like live streaming for two hours. No one's watching. You're up until four in the morning editing them. Then you got to be up at seven of the next day to do it all again. So I'm running on like two, three hours of sleep a night at that time. And it was just the worst. And I felt terrible. I never got anything done. I never saw any of my friends. I had no social life. It was the worst. I couldn't keep doing it anymore. And then I got to, when I read that comment then about the God of War and PS4 and all that sort of stuff. And I had a PlayStation 4 for Chris, um, my birthday in February. This February just gone. And I forgot how good it was to just sit down and play a game. And not worry about editing. Not worrying about, you know, commentary. Thinking of funny things to say. How long is this going to take to render? Is this in the best quality? I, have I got to buy a new PC for this? Have I got to get a better graphics card? Do I need to get a better monitor? Do I need a better webcam? Do I need a better microphone? Do I need anything like that? And no. Because all I had to do was put the disc in and play Dark Souls, Uncharted, Bloodborne. I'm really liking Bloodborne, by the way. And to just sit down and play that has been wonderful. And I realize I've wasted so much time. I haven't developed a community. 
I haven't developed any rabbit fans. I haven't developed anything that I enjoyed out of all that work. I got no praise, no ad revenue, nothing. I made no views on some stuff. Some stuff I would spend weeks upon weeks upon weeks playing and streaming and doing sections of. And I realized the only time I ever enjoyed doing any Let's Plays was when it was against my friends. When I was against my friend Downloaded and we played stuff together. When me and Project Sash, when we'd have little Let's Play contests. When I had that little small community. I still watch my friends do Let's Plays. They're not for me anymore. I won't, I'm not going to do anymore, but I'll watch them. Because I like them, they're my friends, and I'll talk to them, and that's fine, but I can't watch the big YouTubers anymore, I can't watch Jack and Mark and all those guys, I don't think any of us are anymore. Let's be honest, they got, they're in like the 20 million subscriber mark, and they're getting 1 million per video, so a 20th of their fan base is watching them. And the same thing was happening with mine and everyone else, because everyone knows Let's Plays have just gone down now. And... If you're like a 12 year old kid who's watched me and you think I want to do Let's Plays, I want to be like Mark and Jack and the Game Grumps and just, just wait, just realize that, that it's not everything you think it is. It's because, you know, they got like teams of people, they have like people that help them with all their work and, you know, animations and editing and thumbnails and analytical research and keywords and, you know, they go on tours. The Let's Players that go on tours and they just talk to their massive rabid fan bases. I can't be part of that anymore. I don't want to be part of that community. I can't do it anymore. I ran ragged at YouTube. I, I've done my most. I can't. I'm not part of it anymore. Because I didn't want to take away people's experience of gaming. I love... I've been gaming since I was five. I'm 29 now, you know? And I feel like me doing Let's Plays, I'm taking away someone else's experience playing that game. I don't think it's fair on developers who devote their lives to these games. Like, God of War for the PS4 took like five years to make. And it's a brilliant game. It's a fun, phenomenal game. It's like, it's a marvel that it was created. And it was created by people. You know, it's like this, like, it's like Lord of the Rings. You don't think it's like this massive thing. It's like, it's, like, it's impossibly well done. And I didn't want, I did like, I'm not going to wait five years and just buy it. I'll just watch someone play it. And in my brain now, I realize how ridiculous I was thinking that anyone cared about anything that I played. If someone, like, if I did, like, any long Let's Plays, they were usually quite old games, like the first Dead Space, which came out, like, ten years ago. And that was just because it was just fun. It was just something to do in the evenings for, like, every Friday. I'd play, like, a long horror game, and it was fun. But I realize now that I'm, I was never going to get a fan base out of it, and I didn't want to, I didn't want, I don't want a generation of people being like, I'll just watch such and such YouTuber play God of War or some big game that took years to make and people poured every bit of themselves into making these pieces of art. I'll just play in 196 parts when it comes out. I'll just watch them play it and get the same experience. You don't get that same rush. You don't get that same Im sense of immersion and interactivity when you make a game. I get indie developers saying like all these like trying to find tips like what am i doing wrong why is no one buying my game why is no one you know you know anything why i'm like i have a friend he's making a game at the moment and he's been working on it for like three years it's like side scrolling thing and he's scared of putting it up because he thinks like i won't make any money of this i'll be glad that people are playing it but how am i gonna afford to live because no one's buying games i'll watch one guy think if one guy like mark or jack or whatever is playing a game and like a million people watch it they should you know he brings the games to their attention but they'll just watch mark make his funny jokes and whatever and they won't buy it they'll just keep going back to the video for the same exact feeling again it's the same stuff because it's recorded it's always going to be the same experience when you watch it they'll say the same jokes every time and i realized i was doing that i'm not being hypocritical about it i'm very aware of that's what i was doing I can't do it anymore based on that realization that people make these games and they get no money for them, they get no donations, they get nothing on Steam, they run the games down to like a dollar sometimes and nothing and even then, I think it was the people that made that Dragon Cancer, that game about the people who's the family and the cancer and like how that affected them, they saw nothing for ages because it was easier to just watch the bigger YouTubers play it and cry and get really swept up in the emotion of it all rather than people having that experience themselves. Do you, do you, do you get what I mean? Like, you're taking away, like, being a Let's Player, being a Let's Player just meant that you did, like, a walkthrough of the game back in the day. I realize that now. I realize this so much and having that sense of immersion when you play a game 
watching someone play a game now, to me now, is as stupid as watching a reaction channel. Because you just, it is the same thing. And I realize that now. Holy shit. Because well, that's what makes video games special, is the fact that games are an art form that, that allow us to experience things. It's like books. You wouldn't watch someone read a book. You wouldn't watch someone, you know, you can watch people do sports if you're supporting a team or whatever. And if you support a personality on YouTube, great. But I think when it comes to games and stuff, I can't do it anymore. Because I want my own experiences to be mine. Someone watching me play Bloodborne and, you know, killing monsters and whatever in a game, or running away from horror things, that doesn't give them the same feeling. It's a completely different thing, and it's this dumbed-down, zero-adrenaline gaming community now that just watches people do things passively. Oh my god, I just realized that now that Let's Plays are pretty much reaction channels, where you do slightly more editing, but you still have to do all the editing and all the stuff and all the uploads all the time, and you never... And the audience never gets that feeling that you do. They just live passively through your creation, and that's not right for gaming. Why didn't I see that before? Holy shit. That's all it is. You know, games can physically take you on an interactive journey where you can draw your own conclusion from. When Mark plays something for 20 parts or an indie game or something, and he's making his jokes, and he talks to you about how he feels at the end, that's his conclusion. When I was doing my Let's Plays, that was my conclusion. And I realized that the, the gaming industry is as big as it's ever been, but it's only because people are watching the games instead of playing the games. And these last few months when I've just been like, just been able to just chill and play a game and get immersed in a world and, you know, play games with my friends and my girlfriend and, you know, take part in games rather than passively, oh, should we watch blah, blah, blah? The only Let's Players I really watch now are Game Grumps, and that's just because I treat them more like a podcast in the background. And that's fine. But this whole thing of watching someone play something in multiple parts, watching someone play some RPG for six hours, that's not the same thing because I wouldn't make those choices. I wouldn't do what that person does in that game. And that's why I feel like it's just taking away from it now, so I can't be part of it anymore. Like, the Spyro Reignited trilogy is coming out next month or the month after, and I would hate for anyone to, I can't just be like, oh wait, I can't wait to watch this game that I waited so long for since my childhood. The first game came out in 1997. I was like eight, nine when that came out. And to be like, oh boy, I can't wait to watch someone else play that. And in my head, I'm thinking now, I want to play it. I want the fun. I want the, the nostalgia and see how much like those, you know, the, how graphically different it is compared to the original. I want that feeling. I want that sense of immersion and control of that, you know, world and artistry and all the production goes into it. I want to experience that, not through someone else anymore. And I don't want people to do that through me anymore. So, like I said, there'll be no more Let's Plays. It's just going to be music with the, you know, obviously I'll do music from games because I still love music from video games. That's just how I've, I've, I always have. Since I first rented Mega Man X4 and I heard the music for the Jet Stingray level and being like, I love this. This is this is not like music that's you know I've never heard before. So I'm always gonna keep doing video game music. I'm still gonna do guitar covers of songs from all sorts of stuff. You know, all sorts of games and artists that I like, and you know, covers from every kind of gaming world that I like. But I can't take part in playing a game, uploading it, and then someone just watching me play it. I feel like yeah, let's plays back in the day were just supposed to be like a walkthrough. Like if you didn't know what to do, you could just watch someone play through the whole game. And then they start adding commentary and they start treating it like a sort of a, a passive thing. And don't let me think like I hate the gaming community or anything like that. I love the idea of speedrunning games and people that do like the fighting tournament stuff. I have a friend that does like Street Fighter and Dragon Ball Z tournaments and Guilty Gears and tournaments and stuff like that. If you want to do that, great. If you love Fortnite, great. If you want to play that forever, great. If you want to do your multiplayer stuff, fine. That's great, but I can't get behind the idea of anymore, especially me, since I did it for so fucking long, that I can't sit and play a game for so long when I could just be enjoying it in my own time, and I want other people to do the same. So like I said, this channel is all going to be about music now, and, you know, I'm working on an album at the moment, and I'm trying to devote all my time to that, and then I'm thinking, oh, let's play gaming, or, you know, music that you've wanted to do since, you know, five years ago, and I'm Finally getting it off the ground now and being able to do stuff and being really proud of something that I can create. Because one of the ways I don't think is music, because it comes very naturally to be able to make music. I learn music by ear, I can't read music, but I just understand it. 
I don't know if it's my Asperger's because I am slightly autistic apparently. And I have Asperger's disorder, so the way that I resonate is because I have synesthesia, I see music. I see, that's how I see it. So being able to make music is much easier for me and I can take my time with it. I can do like a video once a week or something or even like once every two weeks and work on something and look back at something video wise or music wise that I can be really proud of. And that makes so much more sense to me. Because my channel from the beginning was always music and I've done every iteration of what a YouTube channel can be. I've been a music channel, then I was like a vlogging channel, then I went back to being a music channel, then I was doing reviews of stuff, then I went back to being a music channel and I did this, and I did this, and then I'm back music, this, that, music, this, that, music, and I'm going back to music now and I just realize now that I work better as a channel that does music. And I mean in every aspect, whether it be guitar stuff, review of music equipment, um, covers from every kind of w part of the musical world, whether it be like a Devin Townsend cover, or a song from a game, or one of my original pieces. I just realized now I'm a musical- I'm wearing a t-shirt right now that says I may look like I'm listening to you but in my head I'm playing my guitar. Because that's the kind of person I am now, and I realize that. I love video games, I love them as a hobby, but I can't- It's not what I'm truly mega creatively passionate about, because games to me are a hobby, I'm appreciating someone's contribution to gaming, you know, the process of making a game. I, I'm one of those people that watches the making of games, I love that sort of stuff. And having my own experience playing a game rather than watching some person I don't really know, having that, you know, filtered, I'm just getting like, I'm getting their experiences second hand. And I, was, I realized once I was making, and I realized it was so hypocritical back on me all those days when I was making fun of like reaction channels and just realizing that that's what I was doing pretty much. I just happened to have a controller in my hand at the time. So yeah, no more Let's Plays. Music all the time now. Forever. I'm still going to be as fun as I ever was, doing stupid things and doing stupid vlogs like this. Hopefully not for this long, because this is probably going to be quite a hell to edit now, because it's gone on longer than normal. I might not edit it, most of it, I'll just do whatever. And, yeah, it's been five months since I've really done a video like this, because I've realized I can't just jump into like, let's do a let's play, let's play this game, and do it in 600 parts, and no one will watch it, because no one gives a crap. Because no one cares about my channel anymore unless I'm doing what I care about, which is obviously because it resonates to the person who watched it and subscribed. I love it when I get messages saying like, I'm trying to learn guitar and watching you inspires me to keep wanting to play. That's much more rewarding than, I want to be a Let's Player, what equipment do I get? I want to be a Let's Player, How, what's the best way to run Minecraft? I love getting a message of someone, how do I do this with guitar? How do I learn this song? Where, is there tabs to this? I get constantly messages. Is the sheet music to this? I'm like, no, I don't read music. I just do what I do, you know? So, this, this is going to be like a music channel from now on. I tried the gaming thing for three friggin' years and it almost ruined my life to the point of exhaustion and it wasn't healthy mentally or physically. It was not good. My anxiety and my depression were through the roof doing Let's Plays and we just ended on that. And doing music will be much more therapeutic for me. I can pace myself with it, enjoy it, make it the best I want to, and be proud of it. Instead of, I want to play a horror game, and you're going to watch me play it, and no one will see it. <laughs> so, that's the end of that. That's all I want to say. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you really liked it, I guess you could favorite, or you can subscribe, or you can share this with all your friends. If you're that crazy. So, that, with that being said, that's that. My name's Astrobex, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you, bye!